Hi, my name is Vicki Pedersen and I am a novelist. Uh, before becoming a novelist, however, I was a showgirl for a decade and so I am here to give you Showgirl 101. The first thing you need to know about being a showgirl is that there is a written exam. A second thing, little known, is that there is a hazing involved. There is a bit of an initiation process. I can't talk too much about it because as a lifetime member of the Showgirl Secret Society, I could get in big trouble, but I will tell you that it involves a laser, excess body hair, and a small animal sacrifice. There are some actual uh, helpful hints that I could give you. If you are going to audition as a showgirl, there's a look. You need beige shoes. They lengthen the line of your leg. You need fishnets. You need a G-back leotard or a bikini. Stand tall, pull your hair back into a bun, and then you put on the full slap. More is more. This is Vegas. So, as you know, to be a showgirl, you also need to be abnormally tall. I was one of the shorter showgirls, and when we went out in a group afterwards, people mistook us for basketball players. Not with those lashes. No, we were not basketball players. Come on, people. If they're wearing lashes, they're showgirls. If they're not, they're basketball players. Another thing that showgirls are known for are the headdresses. They look awfully light because they're made of feathers. However, don't let that fool you. These things can be 20, 30 pounds of weight right on your neck. Another thing is because they are made of feathers, when you run in them, you catch air. Birds, feathers, flying. You get it? It hurts. Another thing that is applicable to real life and being on stage as a showgirl is how to stand for a photo. Now, when you're on stage, you never want wide open legs. It's not attractive, not on anybody, not on boys, not on girls. You keep a bevel. Your focus is on the side, but you turn forward and you smile. Smiling is very important for photos because if you're one of the people who are like, ah, don't take my photo, then you're gonna have a photo with you going, ah, don't take my photo. Showgirls know how to do this because we have to fight each other to get camera time. So you bevel, you smile, and you take the photo, and then you end up with a great photo album. So this is your lesson in Showgirl 101. If you're tall and you can undergo a hazing, if you can pass a written exam, and uh, if you take notes and you actually take maybe a few dance classes, you too can be a showgirl.